Hello there, Amanda Davis here, Avon Independent Sales Representative, and in this video I'm going to show you how I will flood my skin with the new Beyond Glow collection of products to get the glass skin effect. Now, I'm not going to lie to you, this is not something that I would do on a daily basis, at least not in the morning if I was going to do it. Um, I might do it in my evening skincare routine, but on a Saturday or a Sunday where I might have more time, then I also might go ahead and do it on or in the AM. And so, and again, like I said, I'm not going to lie. I have not consistently been using this flooding effect, um, but I do like to give my skin a little bit of extra treatment from time to time. And consistently what I've been doing is I have been using the Beyond Glow Vitamin C Serum. Oh, um, it's vitamin C, 6% and ferulic acid. I've been using that trying to use that consistently every morning. Um, and then I've been using the Beyond Glow Snail Mucin Complex Serum and the Snail Mucin Complex and Panthenol Cream. I've been using that at night. Um, and I have definitely seen a difference. What I've noticed my biggest difference is I had these, if you see these blemishes here, um, but they've improved in appearance since I was consistently using it. And this is after only consistently using it at night for a week. Um, but with the products, first you want to cleanse. So I cleansed with the Rice Water Bright Foaming Cleanser. And that's one of my favorite cleansers, and it actually does help with brightening your skin as well. So it's a perfect complement to this routine until we get the Beyond Glow cleansers in a couple of weeks. Um, actually, it's going to be in about a month because uh, we're going to have some cleansers coming out for that collection. So that's really cool. So stay tuned. Um, and then Pineapple Plus Toner is the toner that I used because you do want to tone your skin, cleanse and tone your skin before you do anything else. Now, serum-wise, you want to do that thinnest to thickest. So I'm going to start with the vitamin C 6% and ferulic acid serum. And then I'm going to add the niacinamide 10% and panthenol serum. And then I'm going to add the hyaluronic acid 1.5% and ferulic acid serum. And then I will do the... Beyond Glow Snail Mucin Complex and Niacinamide, the Beyond Glow Snail Mucin Complex and Panthenol Cream. And if you're going to do it in the AM, you do want to make sure that you follow with some SPF because, um, yeah, you don't want to forget your SPF during the day. <laughs> um, at nighttime, who cares? Do it all, slather it all over your skin. Slather some more other than these products on your skin. Do whatever you want. Go to bed. Wake up the next day refreshed and beautiful. Um, oh, but if you're doing it during the daytime, you definitely want to make sure that you follow with your SPF. So uh, I grabbed the Isinox New Solaire SPF 50, the Everyday Mineral Face, um, which is a mineral sunscreen. It says it's water resistant for up to 40 minutes. Obviously, you still want to reapply it and everything. The main ingredient is zinc oxide. And... Um, you, it says you should reapply at least every two hours according to this, but um, obviously if you're in the water or it says after 40 minutes of swimming or sweating, you should reapply it. Um, and But it does do good because it's not got a lot of white cast. Now this video is not about that, so I'm not going to stick to that too much, but just so you know, make sure you wear your SPF. <laughs> um, I will try to make another video about that sunscreen. How about that? Um, so going right into it. Vitamin C, 6% ferulic acid. This is all about brightening your skin if that's something that you're looking to do. Um, and I like to use a whole dropper. I know that it says to do two to three drops on the instructions, but I like to use a whole dropper so that I have lots to put onto my skin. And I did do like about half the dropper right now. And then I'll do like the rest of it to be able to put it the rest of my skin. Like we talked about, we're flooding our skin. So I like to use a whole dropper. But the directions do say you only need two to three drops and you can do like a couple of drops and pat it into your skin. But this is how I do it, so whatever. Everybody does it their own way. So <laughs> obviously I make sure my hands are washed and cleaned first, but you know. Um, all right, so that's the 
ferulic acid, 6%, or sorry, the vitamin C, 6%, and ferulic acid, which the ferulic acid helps to prevent uh, or helps to protect against environmental stressors. The next thickest serum, and the vitamin C does have, it's not really a smell. I shouldn't say that. Like, there is a smell, but it's like a very, very faint, like, citrusy smell. Um, niacinamide, 10%, and the Panthenol serum. This one is all about refining and softening your skin, um, and it's going to help to even your skin's tone and elasticity. And the niacinamide is vitamin B3 that helps with your skin tone and strengthening the skin barrier, and then the Panthenol is going to lock in moisture. And so again, I'm going to make sure that I have a dropper. Then I'm going to go ahead and put some of that on. And this one I might not use the whole dropper because you really don't need to. So I actually, I did like three drops out of the dropper. And this one really doesn't have a scent either. So if you're somebody that you're sensitive to skincare that has scents, this really does not have, none of these products have scents. Um, so that's good. And they're great for your skin. Look, you can see I'm already starting to glow. <laughs> um, and then the hyaluronic acid, 1.5% and ferulic acid is going to help with moisturizing. It's all about hydrating your skin. So if that is one of your concerns, um, and you can actually see, you probably could see that this is a little bit thicker for sure. Um, and even like texture wise, let me see if I can put it on my, so see how that, but it is a little bit thicker for sure than the vitamin C and the niacinamide. Um, and again, I'm probably not going to use a whole dropper on this. And you can see that I'm pretty much applying one right after the other, um, which is okay to do. But if you wanted to take a little bit more time and um, relax in between, or like I know sometimes I'll brush my teeth in between steps. Um, that one I did the same thing, like two, three drops. I really didn't use the whole dropper. Um, so what I'll do is I will do sometimes like, where I'll do one of them and then I'll brush my teeth and then I'll do another one and I'll do something else and then I'll do another one. <laughs> but because I was trying to film the video and I wanted it to be like a consecutive video, I, um, I'm doing it today, just one right after the other. Um, then next is the snail mucin complex and niacinamide serum. Um, the snail mucin complex collection is all about brightening, moisturizing, the, the serum here, it says visibly brightens, moisturizes, and retexturizes. Um, and then again, it's going to help to even your skin tone and strengthen your skin barrier because of the niacinamide. And no smell at all. Um, it has a nice, good texture. I would say it is just a little bit thicker than the hyaluronic acid, so that's why I'm applying it after I did the hyaluronic acid. But it's clear no scent you can see it just slides right down my skin it goes right into your skin and it's not sticky it's not tacky um but i do want to show you something else so i'm going to put it on my skin and see if i can show it to you because it's actually really cool do you see that can you see the stringy between my hands <laughs> it's because it's the snail mucin <laughs> um so I, I think that's fun. Um, and let me see if I can go ahead. And this too says to just do two or three drops on your skin. You can see I put it on my hands and then I put it on my face. But a lot of people will apply just directly to their face. Especially with the serums that have the droppers. It's a pump. So that's good. Because it will be nice and hygienic. And you can see just how moisturized my skin really is getting. 
Um, I will say that if you're going to do all this with your skin, you definitely do want to let it sit for a little bit before you try to apply any makeup because that's going to be kind of hard to apply some makeup after that. Um, and then for the Beyond Glow Snail Mucin Complex and Panthenol Cream, this is going to moisturize, visibly improving texture in your ear elasticity, and it's going to lock in the moisture because of the Panthenol. And I like to use a spatula. Um, I just got that spatula off Amazon, full disclosure. Anyway, um, so I like to use a spatula and get a little bit out. And look, look at this. You can see with the spatula. So see how that kind of has that elasticity too. And let me see if I can put a little bit. Well, look, look at that. You see how it's <laughs> stringing? Um, but again, it's not tacky. It's not sticky. Um, it just has that elasticity to it because it's going to help with your skin elasticity. Um, and then I just like to rub it off onto my hands and rub it in. And again, there's no scent or anything like that. Um, and then for an extra little treat, you can finish your routine. Well, like I said, don't forget to do your SPF. But I'm going to do this before I do my SPF. <laughs> um, so you can, before you finish your routine with your SPF, you can finish your um, flooding routine with the Galvanic, Galvanic Booster. Let me say that right. Um, and that is going to help to boost the absorption of your vitamin C by two times. Um, but it also just helps your skin. So it's a, it says it helps the, helps to tone the appearance of skin texture, enhances your radiant glow, and visibly promotes skin health um, because it is red light treatment. And it vibrates. And so you can see when I touch it that the red light comes on and it vibrates. And when you put it on your skin, if it's nice and moisturized like we just did, I mean, you guys can tell that my skin is nice and moisturized, <laughs> it's going to go. Now, if your skin is too dry for any reason, it will not turn on. Um, so if for some reason you're putting it on your skin and it's not turning on, that's why. Um, it did come with batteries, or at least mine did. Um, when these batteries run out, you can replace it with button cell batteries. It takes two. Um, yeah, it takes two. And you can usually pick those up at most places that sell batteries. Um, you're supposed to do it for about three minutes. And you just will rub it all over your skin. And it's going to help your skin to absorb all of that skincare. And even if you just do like the vitamin C serum, and then you can do this after you do your vitamin C serum, or you could do the vitamin C and the snail mucin and do it after that. And you could really incorporate this anywhere in the skincare routine. Um, but I chose to wait till the end because I wanted to show it to you in the end. It's nice and relaxing. <laughs> um, now, when you're done with it, I just use like a makeup remover wipe and wipe it off because the directions say to just wipe it off. Um, since it is battery operated and everything, I would be afraid to put water on it to cleanse it. So I would just use some sort of a cleansing wipe to wipe it. And I chose to use, like I said, I've been using a makeup remover wipe um, because I feel like that's safe for my skin. Whereas like bleach or something like that, you got to be careful because you don't want to be putting that on your skin. Um, and... So anyway, <laughs> that is our Beyond Glow collection as it stands uh, with the Campaign 10 launch. I know I've done some other videos um, and 
I'm not gonna lie, there might be a few more to come. So <laughs> thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it. And I will see you with my next video. Bye. Oh yeah, and like I said, don't forget, if you're doing this in the daytime, your next step is to make sure that you put on that SPF. Um, and then, like I said, you're going to want to let everything sit and dry and set before you try to put on any makeup because, yeah, your makeup's not going to go on to all this. Um, it's not, like I said, it's not sticky or anything, but it definitely has to set and dry down before you can apply your makeup. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.